And, and look, I have a, I have a pan mechanism. <laughs> That's high tech. Zoom too, if you. Yeah, yeah. Zo zoom with your feet. That's the way you go. It's, it's a prime lens. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone to our, our meeting of members. Uh, are you ready, Jamie, or should I uh, skip ahead? Here's the two-minute finances. Or we're not doing that this week. It just got copied from last month. Okay, she she's not doing finances this month. Whoops. It's okay. Uh, so five minutes of fame. We're going to jump right into that. Um, so show and tell projects. We've got fuzzy and lubacious. Two of you guys. Where's Fuzzy? Fuzzy's back there. Fuzzy, show and show and tell. Well, this is another collaboration between me and Matt. Yeah. Um, I put this together within ten minutes because he uh, texted me today and he missed uh, wooden guitar picks. He says, "Can you make a case and show me how to make them?" Like, never done, it, but I think I can do it. So I came here and I put this together, and Mike named it the pickpocket. It is a fancy keychain. I will pass it around and you open it up. And inside, out of bing, you got your wooden guitar pick. Nice. But if you're ready to hold the plastic one? Absolutely. You could probably hold more than one plastic one. That wooden one's pretty thick. There you go. And like I said, it's not nothing real fancy. It's real simple, but it's cool. How can somebody learn how to make something like that? You can come up to me and say, hey, can I make that? And I will show you. And after I make a couple of them and I'm able to pop them out fast, I will have a class. Ah. Ooh. Sweet. So you're going to give a class on pickpocketing? Yes. <laughs> Is that going to be Just taught with DC 407? <laughs> yeah, I was just sure. Let's just say I wouldn't necessarily sign up for it online. Dave yeah. Casey's putting his name up on the board. Yeah, Dave Casey. Oh, I thought he was just going to show himself. Up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. Uh, Mr. Lebacious, please. Thank you. I don't have it here with me because um, showing the helmet is not as exciting as showing the whole hey, setup. And you kind of need a table and stuff to put the electronics on. But um, if you're not aware, there's a BCI setup, which is Frank Computer Interface that we have in the biospace, and we're starting to get things rolling with that. So um, I haven't quite yet gotten to the point where we're getting clean, reliable signal that is what and where we think it should be, but maybe later tonight, um, probably by the end of the month. And so I just wanted to let people know that's going. So if you ever wanted to connect the brain to something like, hey, it would be cool if I could do this with neural input. Um, consider joining the Slack channel for BCI because that is moving forward, and I'm cautiously optimistic that we can start doing really cool things with that really soon. Ow! I have a question. Can, can we hook up that to one of our CNC machines, like a CNC or a, or a 3D printer or something, or a laser cutter? Um, I. Hypothetically, yes, but um, it would be very erratic. That would that would be a strange sort of modern art you'd produce on a 3D printer. <laughs> it's um, democracy. But you can get all Magneto on it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The helmet is very Magneto. Yeah, we'll see, there you go. Starting with the laser, <laughs> I, 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 I And then, like, it's not the nice stuff. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Casey, are you ready? Sure. Uh, Mr. Dave Casey is now ready to show off Something a box he just opened. This is a box that we just got in the mail today. Woo! Thank you, Jamie. thank you, thank you so much for flying all the way back here. To just to receive this package. Like, <laughs> at the time. like that was well, that's really, 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 really well done. Thank you. Uh, it is the 2017 <laughs> iGem kit, which means that we now have stuff on the floor. Woo! We've got awesome. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like seven plates with about 380 some odd wells each of little tiny DNA parts that fit together kind of like Lego bricks. Cool. Oh. 
and they kind of mix and match. You know, they're, they're organism specific. It's a little more complicated than just sticking Legos together, but it's not that much more complicated. Nice. And um, it will allow us to hopefully produce a few. It's a long compliant, non pathogenic, but interesting organisms with really cool superpowers. He seems really upset about containment. So. Dave, how would a regular member just follow along with that awesome project in progress? Well, that's a good question. Join the DIY bio channel, which I'm thinking we should rename at some point, but you know. And um, follow along there. And if you're really interested in participating, hit me up. Uh, there's like literally thousands of things that you can do with this, and we're trying to work towards <coughs> doing guided individual projects on this. So if this is something that even vaguely piques your interest, catch up with me after meeting and we'll figure out how to get you going on it. Because it's the future, man. It's the future, man. Cool. Yay. Very cool. Uh, Nick, also Mike B. Who wants to go next? Okay. Um, I don't have anything to show right this second, but maybe next time around uh, I will. But we just ordered a whole bunch of stuff for doing aluminum and anodizing. So um, I, I forgot to grab something from the shop, but I have this. If you want to take aluminum parts and make them really pretty colors and also give them a nice protective scratch resistant coating, uh, come hang out on the metalworking channel. Because um, in about six days, when all the scary chemicals get here, um, we'll have an anodizing rig set up and we'll be learning how to use it. Probably failing miserably for a little bit, but it'll be fun. And you should come bundle along with us. Can you anodize the whole MacBook? Uh, you're right, we could. You might, you might want to disassemble it first. Well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not a whole back book, but like parts of it. But you're not we're responsible for voids or uh, more. We're, we're working with like a five gallon bucket size oh. to begin with. Oh, yeah. But uh, I mean, you, we could make a, a we longer, thinner tray to do like flat parts. Because I know Dave uh, has some stuff he wants to anodize that's going to require that sort of form. Yeah. Factor. Uh, it's aluminum, and if you can anodize it with 40 amps or less, then we're good to go. Otherwise, bring a bigger power supply. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, That's valid. Cool. Very cool. Uh, also, Mike B. Yeah. Um, if this is just there. Some of you probably saw the video with the with the cool robots in the circle that were whipping from one side to the other and knocking each other out of the circle. Oh man, that's and very fast. fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's called mini sumo, and I've already had one person who said he's interested in, in our having a mini sumo class. Anybody else interested in taking that class? Yep. Okay. Mini sumo. So I'll start putting it together, and we'll I'll we'll, I'll do an announce in general what I've got. Together. Hey, as a follow-on, with those types of Radio controlled robotics. Those are autonomous. But could you no, make it? But could you make it radio controlled and then compete Why would it? Want to? Well, because then you could dual purpose it and compete yeah, it in. No, because they don't have active weapons. Oh, that's they're, not, they're not. They're they're their own thing. It's oh, that's sumo. Sad. And it's actually actually sumo is a great way to get started in robotics because it doesn't have. You don't have to worry about the weapons. You don't yeah. have to worry about the thing getting destroyed the first time out. You don't have to buy a radio controlled rig. It's, That's cool. It's just you, you put it in the thing, you push the button, you bow to the other guy, and you win or lose. Nice. So. Uh, That's really rad. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll start putting the class together on that then. Very You're cool. awesome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so we will move on from there. I'm going to. Uh, if you guys are okay, then I'm going to skip around the agenda a little bit here. Um, the upcoming events. We've got some classes and some other cool stuff coming up. Uh, first off, the Famalab Machine Shop. Is this another Machine Shop 101 class on the 23rd? Uh, that's, that's, that's what's on my list. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, this weekend. The, the 23rd, that's just the regular Machine Shop meeting night. Okay, yeah, so you have the Machine Shop 101 class on the 15th. And you've got a Fusion class you're teaching as well on the 24th? Yeah, there's a Fusion class on the 24th and another one the following week on um, the 1st. So uh, the, the one on the 24th, which is this Saturday, if you want to get in on that, sign up now. The link is in the announcements and on the calendar and stuff. And what is and Fusion? I just, and I just did. Okay, then what, what is Fusion and how is it useful? Okay, so I Fusion 360 is an amazing uh, CAD software that's cheap um, to bigger businesses and uh, generously free to students, makers, and startup businesses. So. 
if you're making less than hundred thousand dollars a year with it, it's free to use, which is awesome. Super powerful. You can do uh, solid modeling with it for 3D printing or for you know, mechanical design of things that you can make out of machine shop. Um, it has uh, CAM capabilities, so you can directly program all of our CNC machines from it. So if you want to use the, the CNC router or you know, the Haas or the 3D printers or even the laser cutter, you can use this program to make stuff for those. And it does assemblies and you can model, um, you can do finite element analysis and like check if your part's going to be strong enough. Um, it does awesome rendering. Basically, it's, it's a great design program for, especially for a place like this. Um, but it's got a bit of a learning curve to it. So I'm teaching a class. And yeah, if you're interested, there, there are links that I can put back up again. Um, but yeah, I think, DJ, if you just signed up, then. Yeah, I just took. Okay. Um, <laughs> Saturday is full. Saturday on July 1st, um, there are 16 spots available. I told you to get around to it. Yeah. Everybody's kind of crafty. Yeah. Uh, other ones, uh, Raspberry Jam Jam Lab, uh, Stormwater Raspberry Pi user group. That is this weekend, uh, this Saturday, right? Saturday, it's 24th of Saturday. Um, so that'll be that'll be good. And then um, looks like there's a soldering workshop also that day. Mm -hmm. uh, and Siraj is back, so he's going to be teaching laser classes. Wow, you sound really excited about that. <laughs> if, you, if you want to learn how to use the laser, Siraj can be your guy. Uh, and then finally, also on the 24th this weekend, is Star Wars Night. Fuzzy uh, has been leading that. Brian's been there a lot. I don't know who else Dave's been out, right? Haven't you? Who else has been out for this night? Uh, oh, the guys in the back. One's hiding out in the back, you know. Uh, we're doing A New Hope. Oh, the movie A New Hope. Yes. <laughs> the first Star Wars movie. Yes. Yeah. So this must be the fourth one. Yes, sir. Yeah. I do not have the stamina to do a uh, all night marathon. <laughs> it would kill me. So I'm stretching it out. What about a Clone Wars marathon? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian can do that one. And when is this again? It's not be this Saturday. <coughs> if, you, if you dress in costume, there's you know incentives. Yes. Yes, no. John. Is it also Saturday? No, it's uh, Tuesday. Oh, next Tuesday as the RC group meet up for doing uh, drones, quadcopters, cars, boats, planes, whatever. Spacecraft? Sure. If it's got a radio, if it's got a radio, you can fly it or drive it or whatever. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh, are there any other upcoming events? I forgot because I forgot John's RC group thing. I, I know this is going to be a, a busy end of the month and beginning of next month. Uh, it's a fun event for an opportunity to win money to support your projects. Um, Orlando to for the quarterly microfunding dinner, um, and they're going to be opening up their application soon. The date is TBD, but it'll be sometime later on this month, so like within like ten days or so. And it's the opportunity to win um, either a little under or a little over a thousand dollars. So if you have a community or civic project, um, something that you're making, uh, I would suggest applying. Um, if your project gets selected, then you can have the opportunity to present it in front of a dinner party, and then at the end of the dinner party, the group selects who wins the grant at the end. So if anyone was looking to build anything along the lines of a community-driven project, there's an opportunity for funding. So what's that cool. spell? OrlandoSoup.org is the website. Like soup that you would have with a Like, yeah, it's, it's a soup dinner. It's a soup salad. Oh. Yeah, dinner. And that's it. Do they all do that often, or is it just we do it quarterly? Quarterly. Mm -hmm. So, so one project per quarter. Yeah, it's it's five presentations, one project per quarter, and it's usually around a thousand dollars because it's we make we prepare the meal and do that for about a hundred people, and then the amount that that hundred people pay for dinner goes to the like project that's presenting that night. They vote for. So that's how that works. Nifty. Um, okay, so that's, I think, it for upcoming events. I think I'm going to skip forward here. So we do have a, a, a large discussion on the agenda that I'm pushing to the end. Um, so we do have at least one new member introducing tonight. Is that all we've got? Nobody else with two signatures on the paperwork? Ready to go? We got no. two? Yeah. 
Oh, oh there's only one on, on my list. Oh, oh that's because I just got those. Oh, okay. I just got this, though. Well, why don't you announce them, then? Uh, oh, who wants to go first? Uh, I have the other one. The other one. Ways. And who? Just kind of. Hey, we can go first. Yeah, you go first. I just like to do yeah, what do you want? Well, somewhere well, in the vicinity of the Jenga box. Yeah, so stand up, tell us about yourself, uh, you know, how you found about FamilyLab and why you're finally joining after, you know, hanging out with it for, right. for years, right? I, I thought it was going to have to do something pretty right. soon. Or, <laughs> I would see my face in the door and you'd run the other way. Uh, name is Wayne Ellison. Uh, by background, I'm a mechanical engineer. I've done a lot of things in my life. I've uh, got a pretty strong mechanical background. Uh, <coughs> yeah. I uh, have spent most of my life in defense yeah. and uh, aerospace. Yeah. Worked at Piper. Yeah. Worked at Martin when, when it was Martin. Yeah. And, and I ran the optics lab yeah. at Martin. Uh, I uh, worked as a defense contractor, contractor in. Uh, in Melbourne, where I was, we used, we built the. Uh, do you remember the 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 Gulf War and the tech, the jeep running around with a big tube on the back? That's a tow launcher. We we built the sites for that. Nice. And that's a neat thing there. It, uh, um, it's a it's a wire driver, and uh, as you as you run, there's a, a rotating uh, prism in there, and that directs the image coming in. To a, just a four quadrant detector, and the device tries to fly the, the missile, so you've got equal time on all of water, uh, and so you can just track a uh, tank on the, on the battlefield and the follow and just yeah, do some damage. So, uh, I don't know what else I can say really. Uh, I well, family lab I've known for a long time. I, I knew I was coming up to Orlando when I looked into it, uh, looking for a major space. And, uh, uh, and then uh, I also did a presentation at TEDx. And you might know how TEDx mm -hmm. fits in. So I, and in the process, I met Jenny and Dave. And then they introduced with me even but that much more. So uh, You were also at uh, Make for 2012, right? First one, the first Maker Fair, you were there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. In fact, I was there for that one, and I think I was there for I, I was there for the the uh, I did a booth at the um, one on, in the site center as well, and then I came and and uh, helped Dave for the uh, the last one. So uh, so uh, I'm kind of a, like I said, I'm okay in here, and I thought maybe I should. Pay a few bucks to help out. So, well, thank you. Uh, questions? Yeah. So, what's your next project? Yeah. You want to really hear this? <laughs> My love now is biochar. Uh, I don't know how many of you know even know what biochar is. Uh, is it charcoal that's made by compressing? Um, yes and no. It's bio. It's charcoal. Yeah. But it's charcoal you put it in the brain. Okay. And it is, is a soil amendment. It's very, very, yeah, it's very, very helpful for plants and it stores the nutrients and stores the water. While that's happening, when you make biochar, you're pulling CO2 out of the air. And uh, biochar has a proven life of at least 2,000 years in, in the soil. So I want to build, I want to build a biochar machine. So uh, and it's it's a pretty big project. So I I, I want to try to gather some interest in the group. We can do a, a process on it for a while. Another funding opportunity to talk to you about later. Then okay about that. Sure. <laughs> cool. That's me. I could cool. do a lot more, but I'm not one to. Yeah. Okay. I want to say thank you for donating the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Wait, do you still have that FamaLab uh, lab coat I made you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hanging in my closet for, ready for the next year. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, Wei. Uh, next us on the list, because it's on top, is uh, Brian Hall. 
Oh, there you go. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Ryan Hall, East Coast 477. I'll slap. Excuse my digits, Ben. So, um, I, uh, I work in IT. Um, I don't have really as much experience, so I'll be far less interesting. Um, but I've uh, been a tinker all my life. I, I like to take things apart. Um, I found out about Family Lab on Google um, because I want to find a maker space. My collection is large, disorganized, and uh, I'm out of space, and my home environment is not. Uh, I have a two-year-old son, so I get easily distracted. And it's nice to have a place to come and you know have like-minded people and be able to move and uh, obviously uh, some of the ideas, just things I see here going on, are inspiring. So um, I love that. But uh, I like uh, anything electronics, anything RC, um, Arduino. I'm, I'm not an expert at anything, but I like almost everything. So um, you know, we were when I was here last time. I had some ferro fluid with me, and um, August and I put it on top of the, the uh, spinner in the, in the bio lab. You still have that fluid? I do. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to mess with it later. I have, I have two questions as well. Uh, first of all, um, how was the transition from fluidic space into our normal uh, you know, space here? Your galaxy will be perfect. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, assimilating well already. Does that mean you're in the warehouse? Sure. <laughs> as long as he doesn't infect the bioneural gel packs, we're good. Uh, second question is, so you found out uh, about us just doing a Google search. What did you search for? Were we the first result? <laughs> I just I just, I saw a map and I was like, wow, Europe has a lot of fab labs. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw one at the uh, uh, university, uh, or university there, and then mm -hmm. uh, saw this one. I lived in Winter Springs. So cool. Sweet. I think I made the right choice. Uh, other questions for Brian? Star Inc. or Star Wars? Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the name should give it away. All right, thank you. Uh, Timothy? Oh, there you go. I don't have my form, so I don't know. It's okay. Go ahead. and You're, you're on the, you're on the, the uh, list. Yeah. Yes. Hi, I'm Timothy Jekyll. I'm 32 years old. I'm a software programmer for electronic arts. Um, I found out about FabLab or FamLab through uh, JT here. He uh, said, you want to come look at a fab lab with me? And I was like, sure. So I came to the open house. And I haven't really had time to come back since the open house. So sorry, I've been a little busy and had a vacation. So I haven't had time to go grab the two signatures. But um, my biggest passion is Dungeons and Dragons right now. For anyone else who's interested, I know someone on well, When is Tabletop Gaming Night? Right, when's Tabletop Gaming Night? Uh, Chris. Uh, Saturday. So this Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Uh, I'm so confused. I also have a lot of board games that I play with some of my neighbors and stuff around. So, but uh, I do some projects for Dungeons and Dragons, like build my own dungeon tiles and nice. stuff. And it's gotten to a point where I've run out of space at my home. For, <laughs> like not just D&D supplies, but for projects. And I have a three-year-old daughter and you know a wife who likes to keep the house clean. So. Uh, can't really make a lot of stuff, so I figured this place would be really cool for that. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of experience besides programming experience to offer, um, but I'm really game for tools and stuff, so. What's your preferred language? Uh, it shifts. C++ and C Sharp are my two ones that I'm like. Which ones do you hate the most? What? Which ones do you hate the most? Do I hate the most? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not, not over there. Would, would, like you code, would you code in VB? <laughs> 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 I knew it. Like, like so old. Why would you do it? There are things that use it. I just don't have any. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the company I work for is a manufacturer that does nothing but use VB.net. So. Cool. Yeah, like, if I had, if, like, if, you had a code base. I don't have a lot of experience in VB, but I, if I had a tool that only used VB, I would use it. So I'm not like going to reinvent the wheel to try to use a different language. <laughs> 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 so, but, 
Yeah, uh, as soon as I get two signatures, I'll try to join and hopefully you guys will get along. Cool. Yeah. Two questions. Yeah. Sacco or fourth edition? Fifth edition. <laughs> <laughs> Answer spaces. <laughs> oh dear. That's not so People who use spaces yeah. get paid more than people who use tabs. Correlation is not even causation. Is it true? <laughs> I don't know because all my entire company uses spaces. So. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the engine. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Somebody else wrote the engine, right? Yeah. What was that? Somebody else wrote the engine. Yes. Well, they wrote it, it was another another oh, boy. group in our company that wrote it. Sweet. <sighs> Not kidding. They're awesome. We had a guy from Finland come here on Monday. Oh, wow. Last Monday. Visiting. Yeah, visiting us. Unfortunately, I've only been to Japan, so I haven't been here in Europe. Cool. Thank you, Tim. Any other questions? I think we're good. All right, thank you very much. So we had three perspectives, is correct? Oh, yes. A couple more. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'm not on the list, but I'm, I'm saying it's yeah. good paperwork. Sure. Um, make sure that DJ gets your information. Um, but go ahead, send it, tell us about yourself and everything like that. Uh, hi, my name is John Taylor. Uh, everyone calls me JT. Um, I'm the same as, same as Tim. I work at EA. I'm working uh, on Madden. And uh, I'm a forever tinkerer. I'm always doing little projects. I love Lego and reinventing. <laughs> All that kind of stuff, and uh, I have three three kids at home, and I'm hoping to be a nine year old kind of into doing some projects and making some stuff. Uh, I have way more project ideas than I ever have time um, or a budget, so my wife mostly tolerates it at the house. Uh, really, I'm just looking to have a uh, you know come here and, and you know, participate in projects and do new stuff, and you know I always have weird things I want to do. Um, my latest project is I'm trying to work on an actual Madden band hammer. Uh -huh. So every time I wrote the, the band tool for Madden, <laughs> so every time that you, we ban someone, it'll actually take a physical Thor hammer and re it out. So the, the servo will take it back up. So I, need, I need some help. You know, the strong servo or something like that. Uh, so yeah, there's always enough weird things like that. Counter balance. Huh? Counter balance. Sure. Mm -hmm. It was just a plastic hammer. Like it should have. Whatever. <laughs> you, you might want to talk to the BattleBots people. They know how to make them. Yes, yes. And I'm really interested in BattleBots and the sumo thing. Maybe. It sounds really, really cool. Um, yeah, so. Questions? Questions. Come on, guys. Questions. I don't want to ask them all. Do you want to start with electronics or with mechanics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really I really am interested in it. Like, I would yeah. love to use okay. the, the Haas and, and yeah. machine something. My, yeah. my son wants to make a... Uh, uh, a a Pac-Man, like a light-up Pac-Man, so there's one uh, laser JT. cutter to cut some uh, John and stuff. Um, so I'll just lots of, out. yes, everything. I, 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 I walk through the shop and like, I want to make something with that, yeah. with that, and with that, I want to work kind of well, and all that stuff. So. Um, which project do you think you will start first, and which of your projects do you think will finish first? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a, that's a, um, can, can I kind of amend your question? Yeah. Are you going to finish any projects? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have at least six that are in progress and may never get finished. Um, I, I tend to finish my Lego projects sooner than my electronics projects. So but, which one is it? You built most recently? Um, I just finished uh, Flintstones car. Like it was a project. Uh, uh, I found the design online. So I just Chris is ready. Yeah. I have it. It's on back order. It's Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the, the giant Millennium Falcon oh, wow. one I put nice. together, and uh, oh, I made a, a Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. So it's a full Lego, oh, that's okay. but I put a Raspberry Pi in it, and it's an emulator that you can control it. So nice. you play every Nintendo game. That's so awesome. Uh, are you interested in a aluminum uh, machine Nintendo controller? <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw it in the case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Make those. Does it work? Yeah, yeah. functional. Well, we didn't play. That's cool. There's also a modified uh, uh, SNES that's attached to a Raspberry Pi that can also do something similar. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I'm always thinking a little. I spent a lot of time on that. Yeah. Um, can the Thor hammer come down on an air horn instead? Or like two giant like half inch things. Like, air horn? Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Like that. People, people are already threatening me with the bell. <laughs> 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 They're already threatening to kill me.
put back if I didn't know. How about steel plates? <laughs> steel plates? <laughs> like one on the hammer, one on the... Yeah. That would make a loud clack. Oh, yeah. I can't even pick up the plastic hammer with the servo I have. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that. Uh, um, yeah. You can <laughs> check the purge table. There's usually some motors there, and more than likely, at least one will pick up. Okay, there's like a window. I've got a there. box of them over there, and a few of them are just motors. I also have a piece of be done. <laughs> actual like adamantium, like the, the real full of right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you do. You find me a lot of carbide end mills, I can make it into an actual <laughs> force hammer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, so, uh, yeah, it would be a, a miniature or one. It would be very, very tough and. Yeah. And so, like, uh, oh yeah, it's uh, Mark Marion the 509 is like ink and esque super alloy. I tried to oh heal up once so it did not go well. <laughs> very cool. Thank you very much. Uh, and Chris, we got one more, two more. Two more. I think we might have a second one. Okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, so uh, my name's Chris, the neckbeard on Slack. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I'm a gamer, guitar player. I end up. Falling in love with a bunch of different hobbies, airsoft, <clears throat> quad racing, as JD's brought into recently, and uh, haven't quite developed my increased skills as much as everyone else here. But I plan on getting back at it. I already learned how to solder and and all that stuff. So just moving on forward and trying to learn as much as I can from everyone. As far as like contributions, I'm always down to help anybody out with anything, just to learn what to do, you know, what you're doing. So. But yeah, that's just basically me. And uh, I'm also really good at knowing some good websites. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have to ask him. Wow. Somebody There's probably him. There's a leak. <laughs> I have a question. I'm, I'm checking out your shirt. And I want to ask you if you had a Mr. Meeseeks box, Ooh. what would you ask it to do? Oh. That's a good question. Go, go work at Apple for me so I can be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> you should know better. You can't. It can't have a long-term job. It yeah. will try and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah. 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 What's up? Tender or Gibson? Gibson. Wait, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you remember the Szechuan sauce from the uh, late 90s? It came up with the uh, Luan movie. It was using for chicken nuggets, dipping sauce from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I was rather young. <laughs> oh, we have more. Welcome, welcome. Um, any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Elliot. That was the last time I was Okay. So I'm Elliot Weintal. I'm studying uh, biology at UCF. Uh, very interested in the biotech lab, actually. So I found electron transport chain experiment. I hope we get to run here. Um, if anything goes clean, we might be able to speed it up. Um, also, working on developing a grant program for prosthetics with VA with um, David Woods' spin. Uh, hopefully nice. we can get recreational therapy going for veterans, get them off uh, all the opiates and stuff they pump them on. Uh, I like to learn how to well do some metal working. Um, I developed a device that helps take photos of the ones with a microscope. Uh, so I started a business recently and I'm working on selling those to the local schools awesome. and working on just making the science more accessible and easier for people. That's about it. Cool. How'd you hear about us? Uh, my roommate, actually. Who's your roommate? Uh, he he, went, he was in a maker, maker space up in South Carolina when he moved okay. out here. He looked up local ones, I think came out mm -hmm. once and then got busy with school. His name is Patrick Gordon. Um, I don't think he's been MIA for a while, it seems. Any questions? What do you want to teach us? <laughs> uh, help out with bio, the biotech lab if you guys want to learn anything. iGEM stuff, PCR. I uh, can help out with that. Very cool. Um, I will be, or some of my professors are interested already, so I got a PhD in superconductivity, interested in teaching quantum stuff, so if you guys want to learn quantum. Nice. What? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. so go back and for a second. Some of us are really not like some of us. Some of us don't have PhD, PhD, so let's try again. <laughs> what? One of my professors that's helping with electron transport chain research, he's got a PhD in superconductivity, he's actually thinking about joining, and he wants to teach quantum to people interested. 
pretty yeah. cool. So if anybody wants to learn. Online. So when is this class? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he'll be out the next meeting, so you can ask him then. Cool. Yes. He doesn't have to wait for the next meeting to come out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. He's, he's, actually uh, he's here teaching the whole summer, so he's a little busy right uh, now. Uh, I got here Saturday night. Oh, um, um, I snap. It came out as one of the best I super jokes. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to go up or down. Uh, we don't really, we're just going to see what the data comes out with, but essentially the idea is because you have protons going against the gradient and electron gravity traveling in pairs, so the breaking uh, Pauli's exclusion principle, it's very similar to uh, Cooper pair of superconductivity. So we're trying to put an external magnetic field in the see if we can do a curve and see if that <coughs> somehow. Uh, whatever the data shows us is what we'll go with. But right now the theory is quantum is happening, possibly zero point field interaction or something like that with the, uh, the two pairs or the pair. And we're just trying to see what happens. Which, <laughs> which video game was it that had the zero point energy gun? What video game was that? Half Life 2. Good. Brian, you're great. <laughs> yeah. you're I think somebody would know. It's like it, it, I, somebody would have to. Thank you very much. So, yeah. so just, just as a point of reference, uh, anybody who's written the giant vibrator out in the warehouse, um, yeah, there's context behind that. If you would like to experience it later, please see Dave Casey, and he'll put you on the giant vibrator. Um, Elliot AK Victor donated helps. that to the lab for, for, for scientific research purposes. Awesome! Thank you. <laughs> I turned in my paperwork uh, in the last it, it's always a social experiment. Turned into paperwork the last Yes. Time. Okay. I, I, I do have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I just made a clerical mistake on my end. Oh, no, it's fine. All right. Do we have any more, or, or is everyone now introduced who's going to be introducing tonight? Uh, well, should I maybe? Because I just got here. Do you? Did you turn your paperwork? Uh, it's in my pocket. Perfect. <laughs> welcome, welcome, our late camera. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I think, oh, I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Everyone say hello, Ryan. Uh, uh, I forgot to get these. Before I think no. of, yeah, but you can't do that, and that's a bad thing. So I think I'm going to have to wait <coughs> like two or three months for all that to. You already, you're already up here. You're already up here. So, you're already so, up there. Right. Get those okay. and then bring back. Cool, man. All right. All right. Go ahead, introduce. Uh, I'm Ryan. Uh, I just got back from the Far East over in Taiwan. Uh, I used to teach chemistry and biology over there, and um, I was here in the super, super early days, that, like before it was even conceived, doing the bio lab. Uh, I was at UCF and started a um, like a synthetic biology club, or helped to start a synthetic biology club, and then other people kind of took off with that because I graduated, and they were like, "All right, get on out of here." So uh, I got on out of there, and I've just been kind of pursuing my ideas in um, electro wedding and uh, lab on a chip stuff. So I, uh, I've got this uh, big old vacuum thing. Uh, I've actually. Where is that big old vacuum you, thing? You've got one big old vacuum thing. I've got I another big old do. vacuum thing. So the <laughs> big old one. vacuum thing should have a party. We should have a little vacuum thing party. Okay, so the thing was sitting in Fanny Lab. Some of you have probably seen it as an eyesore years ago. Is that UFO? Is that the UFO spaceship? Yeah, UFO yeah. spaceship thing. So I'm the. He's that guy. Uh, sorry about that. Guy. <laughs> I disappeared. I, it, it, I was kind of more or less kind of kidnapped and taken to the other side of the world. So that's another story. Uh, I liked it. Stayed over there for too long. And then uh, now I'm back and want to totally finish that project and make it a thing. Uh, it'll be cool because the thing that I want to make it a thing is going to be able to like, deposit in films on it. Stuff like, like uh, atomic layer definition, like single atoms of things on. And um, hopefully uh, with that, we'll be able to do some really cool stuff. Uh, right now, the, the one that I'm working on is over at Facture. And the other one is in your garage. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should be paying for the space. Um, but hopefully I'm going to take some measurements from that and get a bell jar and take that one apart and stick it on <laughs> a better vacuum thing and get that all built. So we'll be able to like make uh, 
cool optical coatings and stuff, and uh, some neat things uh, with microfluidics. Um, I'm trying to make this uh, optical electro wetting setup so where we can basically just play a video and run a biological protocol just by the video playing light, which makes like these little virtual electrodes that enable a drop to move. And so we'll take a lot of the pipetting work out of biology and make things run uh, super smooth and, and high throughput. So I plan on doing a lot of prototyping and stuff and um, teaching anybody anything that I can about any of that stuff. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time just doing uh, research on, online and reading articles and uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what I like to do and so that's my thing. Uh, Mike was first. Oh, so how, how, do you have the experience with, with pulling high vacuums? Have you done that before? Have I pulled a high vacuum before? No, I have not. Okay. So it's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm still learning myself. Um, yeah, so there's there's a lot that I, I know in theory, and there's, going from theory to practice is always a pretty heavy load. So I'm expecting to have a lot of interesting trials and errors, and I want to get a shield around any glass parts. If we can get a metal uh, amber, that would be ideal, but probably a lot more expensive. We could probably make a metal vacuum chamber. Yeah, it's 15 pounds. It's not that hard. Yeah. So, so ports are wet. Yeah, port. Yeah, that's whether it's glass or metal. Well, we have a machine shop, oh. and, and we also have a welding station. So that should, yeah, that gets you part of the way there. We have to just design it and execute it. That's yeah, should be that's fun. It. That's it. It's gonna be a good project. You're you're talking about laying down uh, one molecule thick layers. Do you plan to? Uh, well, carbon will be available. You can you can make graphene. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually a new process for making graphene that's pretty cool. You just take styrofoam, put it in the physical yeah. deposition channel with the uh, the copper on there. Yeah, that's kind of neat. So I want to try that. Out. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, kind of stoked about that. So hopefully we'll be able to make uh, single layer graphene with it, and any other kinds of things that you need to do in high vacuum. Uh, I was thinking of making like a tube system where you'd have one going to the the deposition chamber, another one, uh, and get some like you know valves. Uh, another one going to uh, an electron microscope chamber. Because I've got this electron microscope, but it's kind of like Wait, totally what? busted. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't tell you about that. that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's somewhere in my garage too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so I get a new filament for the thing. So, so, yeah. so two questions. Well, one, the statement you're. You guys are blowing my mind tonight, like all you guys. Just like, oh, okay, this is really cool stuff happening. Second is also a statement, but a question is for you as well. Um, do you and Dave both have garages that are larger on the inside? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a two, two car garage. It's really it's actually my dad's garage, and we only fit one car in there. By the grace of God, um, yeah, there's. I have no idea how we can even fit one car with all this stuff. That's like one of the other projects is just making that all reorganized and stuff because I've got a whole bunch of stuff sitting there. Also, I don't know anything about your garage. That was a question directed to me, though. I mean, it, was, it, was, it was kind of a... Yeah. All right, other question from Ryan. I was expecting a question. Considering that you spent some time in Taiwan, can you speak fluent Cantonese? Uh, well, I can speak Cantonese. Uh, uh, I can speak Cantonese. Uh, I can So that is Taiwanese language and Mandarin Chinese, but no Cantonese. That's a Hong Kong thing. Oh, okay, I thought that was. Would you uh, translate uh, what you just said as well? I pretty much speech. just. Okay, all right. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah in my mind, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning. It's, uh, the only man sorry. I know is Wombo Mi Mai Ni Shoshima. I only caught, what did you say? Wombo Mi Mai Ni Shoshima? Wombo Mi Mai I don't understand what you're saying. Wombo <laughs> <laughs> Ting uh, is like, what you spoke some of that, and like it's Wombo uh, Ting is like, I don't hear, right. and then. 
And I, I don't hear what you're saying. You're speaking. Yeah, a word you're speaking. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> sounds about right. Anything else? No. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Last call. <laughs> Do we have more? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Long. <laughs> Tom Long. I, I told you guys, don't, don't listen to me. Tom Long's an old guy. Old member, not really an old guy. He's an old member. <laughs> <laughs> and an old guy. You've been here since the 800 square foot space. Yep. Brother. Yeah. Back four, in the day. Four, were you before the 400 or did you go at the 400? At the 400. Okay. All right. Very cool. Cool. Uh, so we have a couple people that we're voting on tonight. Mr. Daniel has the ballots. I just see who's on the ballots again. Okay. Um, we have some people that are carryovers from previous months, um, and some people we're voting on for. Uh, actually, these are all carryovers, I believe. Yes, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you are here, Please stand up, walk to the middle, wave your hand, tell everyone hi, and then walk out. And uh, say your name. And say your name for the record. Um, Eric Macon. Hello, Eric Macon. Uh, Hopefully you'll know me by now. Cool. Um, thank you. Uh, Scruffy. Jonathan Bertotti. Bertotti. Okay. Uh, Christian Neuruder. No. Uh, Mai Trung. She's here. Yes. <laughs> so, um, if we could close Eldoro. So we will pass these out. Our illustrious Mr. Secretary will pass these out. <coughs> because there's so many of you, and I don't remember everyone, if you remember, raise your hand if you get a ballot. Hey, Mike, do non-members need to set off for this? No, yeah. just the members that are being voted out. <laughs> you get to see what we're doing to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who knows this person? Is this person being, or is this person verified? Um, so I believe we're going to be only voting on two this month, because only two are present. That we're going to play, we're going to vote on all four. Just two. Just two. So my and uh, Eric are the ones who are going to vote on the other two. Uh, just if you put something in the blank, it won't matter. Uh, so this is there. If you need pins, and, oh, Tessa has the box of pins. <laughs> and uh, after this, we will have the discussion on the um, new member onboarding process uh, and how that. It's proposed to work, and we're going to take some comments and suggestions as we continue to refine it. Questions or comments? I do. Can I have a voting ballot, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, where did the set go? Yeah. That's, oh. So, so I, I, I have a question that I hope is not too contentious. Okay. Is it for the group or for us? Um, it's, it's for the group. Okay. Um, if it's about they can still hear the numbers. And are we going to broadcast the so, so I we should be paused yeah. at this point. All right, pause a second. <laughs> so we're going to pause the broadcast and just have a, a quick discussion. Um, Dave has a, a couple of questions.